Now the material you're going to use and need is basically a, a shovel, a pick, a mattock. Uh, you're going to need a spirit level with a long three, no, four by two um, piece of wood so that you can level it. You're going to have to dig out your holes for your footing. You're going to need some rebar and you will also need uh, some concrete and gravel, some sand, some cement and also of course your bricks. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start hammering in the rebar and I've cut them 50 centimeters in length and you start at the lowest point. As you can see this is my hole for the footing for one pillar. I have another hole there. So um, yeah just make sure then that you basically start leveling at the top point here. The rebar is actually to reinforce the concrete but also to um, to use that as a leveling point. So as you can see it's totally not level so I'm going to have to basically um, pound it down a bit more with a hammer here on the left hand side. Now that's the finished product. We have the rebar in there. That's the centerpiece that goes through the middle of the pillar and they're all very level as well. So what I'm planning to do now is I'm going to basically um, from this lower point here on this pillar of the footing, I'm going to take the level from here and I'm going to use this piece of wood here and my spirit level and I'm going to run it over to that footing over there and trying to get the same level. Um, it's very important to have them level, uh, that just makes everything much so easier. So now that I have them both done, I'm going to start mixing the concrete for the footing. That's basically, the footing is basically something that goes underneath the, uh, the pillars, like a foundation or something like that, you know. So there we are now, we have the footing made with concrete and the next step is going to be measuring out the, the pillars where they're going to be. Uh, sort of a line and that just ensures that the pillars are square with each other. And you see the, the rebar there is the center on each pillar and they're level as well. So so I get a good indication of how to Now just to show you how to actually um, do the 345 rule, um, as you can see I had to kind of transpose the the line down lower so I, it's much more technical and much more trickier for me but for you it's probably going to be very easy straightforward that uh, it'll be one level you know um, and the way you do it is basically um, to get a rectangle is basically very simple or a triangle is basically you you measure from this point here and um, three centimeters three meters or three feet doesn't matter and then you measure this in this direction you would measure three yeah, four centimeters, four meters, whatever it is, um, and then between the two points, it should be five feet or five meter. Just make sure that you always say if you're using feet, then make sure that it is you know three feet this way, four feet this way, and five feet in between the points, and that that way you can be assured that they're basically um, that you have a perfect triangle, a perfect rectangle. So then you just start laying your bricks. Now make sure that you use your spirit level and just make sure that you have it both uh, vertical and horizontally uh, level as well, alright? Also don't forget to add some muck onto the brick. And the way you do it is you just get a smidgen of uh, muck and then you basically just lay it kind of onto the brick and you make a kind of a groove all the way along. Now if you need it also to place them on the edge, what you can do is you just gently tilt it forward so that doesn't fall off. And you make a little one on the edge as well.
Yeah, and there you have it. The next thing we need to do is add the hinges. Have it nicely lined up there, and we're going to weld a piece of round onto that, and uh, basically the gate will slot into that. And with the hole there, that will hold it at the top. Well done, Kerry.